Hey there, this is Cabrio, and I'm showing off my little DM tool app. Uh, this is basically a way to make a mini game out of NPC interactions. Uh, it's especially useful for important conversations where you want the players to kind of role play. This way you can kind of keep track of the overall influence the player is having with a conversation. Uh, a good example, I'll, I'll use some characters that I've used before. Uh, Leech Cats, who is a uh, necromancer. And he, Leech Cats, is irritable. So let's load up irritable right here. This is the first encounter our player will have with Leech Cats. Now, as you can see, his base trait is irritable. And he's wary of the player. And he does not want to cooperate with the player. And the brief description here to help, you know, role playing prompt. The NPC, Leech Cats in this case, does not entirely trust the player, but is willing to sell useful information at a high price. Uh, so he's willing to help the player if he can make sure he gets some sort of monetary jab out of the player. Uh, you know, kind of make the player suffer in return through gold. You know, just because he's irritable, he doesn't want to give away anything for free, even though he might not even care about getting the money. He just wants, you know, the satisfaction of getting something out of the player. Now the player will be Garen. He's Garen is a bard and um, Garen is cheery and Leech does not like cheery people. Well he's irritable as you might have met other irritable people. Uh, they don't always react pleasantly to happy people. <laughs> uh, but Leech also loves magical knowledge uh, and he's interested in magical items. He, I mean he's a necromancer. It's, it's what he studies. Uh, and Garen, the player, has learned by talking to people who know Leech that Leech, even though he's irritable and generally not very pleasant to people, he does appreciate really bad puns. It's just a quirk of his personality. Now, so Garen needs to get information from Leech. Leech uh, is not the cause of a curse causing undead to rise, but Leech, being a necromancer, understands how the curse works and knows how to fix it and stop it. So Garen needs that information. So Garen goes up to Leech and, you know, hey there, Leech, I heard you've got some information that I could use. Now Garen's cheery, so Leech already doesn't like that. So his outlook of Garen changes. It goes down a little bit. So now he distrusts him. Like, why is this person being cheery to me? I hate that. And, you know, he might provide useful information, but Leech will probably mislead Garen. He just doesn't trust him enough to uh, give him accurate information because he's suspicious of what's going on here. So Garen put himself at a disadvantage already by forgetting that Leech is irritable. Uh, if he learned that in the first place, that is. But uh, so Leech is like, ugh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? And, you know, Garen, trying to figure out a way, he's like, well, I'll tell you what. I need some necromantic expertise from you, my friend. He's still being cheery. It's not good. And I'm willing to trade some heavily in your favor to get that information. So Leech likes that. Leech loves a beneficial situation like that, especially if he can kind of, if he thinks he can negotiate to something he really wants, like maybe magical items or a spell book where he doesn't know some of the spells, you know, that sort of stuff. So his outlook's already improving. So he's back up to just being wary, and he's he's willing to sell the information at a high price without misleading the, without misleading Garen. Um, now, Leech doesn't want to, uh, you know, he he wants the money and the reward, but he at the moment he wants cold hard cash. He just wants gold. Garen doesn't have a lot of gold at the moment, so Leech says, "Well, I'll tell you what. For fifty gold, I'll give you the information." Now, Garen doesn't have the gold, but he knows that he learned, talking to other patrons of this particular tavern they're in, that um, that Leech loves bad puns. So, Garen will try to use that to his advantage. Uh, so, he'll say, well, you know, I just fought this dragon and he burned most of my money. Uh, I guess you could say I'm a little light on funds. And he doesn't show it, but Leech thinks that's funny. So, his outlook is improved. His aggression changes in this case because, you know, he wasn't expecting this. Now, what happens with aggression, aggression doesn't change a lot. It only changes in unexpected situations or, or extreme 
situations. Like if Garen came and charged his sword, aggression would change. Or, or you know, drew his sword ready to attack Leech. Uh, his aggression would change. Leech's aggression would change right away. Uh, but uh, in this case, it, the pun just kind of caught Leech off guard, and he almost giggled. You know, it, it kind of it caused a sudden shift in his personality. And the way aggression works is ten is the middle ground. So someone who is above ten is they their tendency is to move towards a physical confrontation or a direct confrontation. Somebody who is below ten, like in Leech's case, uh, he prefers to move away from. A direct conversation, uh, direct confrontation, and he prefers to move in a direction to get him away from whatever is causing the conflict or stress. So, because he's already low, his and the conversation improved. Uh, Garen, uh, the outlook he has with Garen, his aggression moves closer to ten. In this case, now he's willing to interact with them, and you know he's willing to give basic information right off the bat. He'll say, "Well, hey, you know, there is a curse causing it." You can find the information. It's pretty easy. It's not that hard to break. And um, and he can be convinced, you know, with a little more chit-chat, as long as Garen doesn't ruin it, to, uh, to give the information on how to actually break the curse. But let's say Garen goofs it up. Garen's like, oh, I knew you'd be a great friend. Ah, oh, and we, we, make, we, we make such a great team. And Leech... Being the irritable type does not like that, so his aggression goes back down. Let's say, just for the sake of the example, goes down a lot. Now he doesn't want to deal with the player. He doesn't want to deal with Garen. Like, he'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but he's only going to give him basic information. He's not going to give him details. Just because, you know, Garen's getting a little too close for comfort socially. So, now Garen needs to find a way to fix that. Uh, now, let's say in their dealings, Leech says, well, you know, there's this rare... Ri oh, how about if I roleplay that? Well, there's this uh, rare spell component in this goblin cave nearby. You get that for me? Maybe we can work something out. So now Garen has a small quest he can go do. Uh, go retrieve this rare spell component and return it to Leech. And if when that happens, Leech says, okay, I kind of like this guy. So maybe that bumps me back up. And now he's willing to deal with Garen again. Uh, provided Garen doesn't find a way to piss him off, <laughs> you know, changing his outlook. And that's the basic way that this little app works. Uh, it's really simple. It's not much to it, but it, it gives, it almost makes a little game, almost like a little board game, where, that you can navigate, you know, the social pieces uh, on the, this board in order to find the outcome you're looking for. And that's really it. Uh, now, the, I have a Windows and Mac version, which is free. I'll put a link to my website uh, in the description. That way you can download it. It is available uh, for $0.99 cents on the Google Play Store. That way you can download it for Android apps, you know, for your Android devices. And it's really that simple. I mean, it's not that complicated to use. Uh, it was a little difficult setting up, but uh, it's, overall, it's, it's kind of a handy tool. It worked out better than expected, which is why I made it available. And hopefully you all enjoy it.